What's going on everyone? Stealth Wolf here, back again with some more Vice City Permadeath Episode 3. We're 4% of the way in. We just, I mean, technically kind of assassinated someone at the golf course with an assault rifle. And now we're going to do more for Avery Carrington. Because I think the next mission for Avery Carrington is the mission everyone loves. Okay, actually, I don't mind it. I'd say I'm pretty good at controlling helicopters, or I like controlling helicopters in GTA. Uh, GTA 5 is probably the one that I hate controlling helicopters in. Oh, great. Who wants to call now? Well, that sounds suspicious. Anyway. Demolition Man! Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as plan, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? I, I don't know. Yes, so we're going to be controlling a little toy helicopter. I actually, I really don't mind this mission. Yeah, it was kind of, it's tough, but once you sort of understand the controls of helicopters in GTA, it's the same thing. It's honestly the same thing. Yeah, so it's, it's just the same as flying sort of the bigger helicopters in the game. The circle to drop. Left the pills. I'm seeing shit. Okay. I didn't have to deal with the uh, thing. Like I'm not saying. Okay, I I may have said I'm pretty good. I'd say I'm decent. <laughs> you know, with the helicopters, I'm not the best. I'm not speedrunner material for the helicopters, but, you know, a lot of people hate this helicopter, but then are fine with the big helicopter, and it's like, I don't understand. And then so many people complain about it. It's like when people complain about, oh, uh, like, the joke about the putting in the USB stick in the wrong way, you got like, attempt, you got to try it, like, three times before you get it in right. And it's like, I'm sorry, are you stupid? <laughs> Oh, it's another dead person. Good thing this isn't like a pacifist kind of thing. Maybe. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna go back the way I came. Just, c just because I know there's a way out there. So yeah, this mission, yeah, pretty hard back in the day. But again, like I said. You fly helicopters a lot in Vice City, San Andreas. You, you kind of get used to, uh, you know, how the helicopter behaves and everything. But the planes, oh my god, planes in GTA 5 and San Andreas, I can't fly for shit. But helicopters, oh my god, like I'm, I'm a god at controlling them compared to controlling the planes. Like, and I know some people are going to be, like, the same with me about, like, what, you can't control... Damn, oh, shit. I'm seeing shit. I'm seeing shit. Someone shoot me. Oh, yeah. He likes to shoot. Oh, it's this way. Ah, the hell. Don't shoot at the toy. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can just do that. There you go. 
You just kill off most of them. The one thing I th uh, thought was that you had, like, it might be this, it might be like another mission in another GTA, or it might just be another mission in a completely different game. But I could have sworn you had to get the helicopter out without, um, like, you had to get sort of out of range of the building before you could blow it up. So, like, I always did the top one first, and then go from top down. But, uh, no, no. You don't have to. And I see... Yeah, I'm 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 sorry that we have to go with no music. Blame YouTube. Even when I or even when I've turned the music off for other videos, my Lego Harry Potter stuff. Like I turn the music off in like in-game music off in that, and I still get fucking cutscene problems and shit. <laughs> but there's a big old explosion. The, 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 there's more big old explosion, and here comes the fire engine. Ah, thousand dollars, nice. We're racking up that money. Uh, trying to think if there's something that I need. I know there's a machine gun close, but do I need a machine gun? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> RC van. She's coming through. All right, here we are, Cortez. You called for me, we're here. Mr. Versace. It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. Ah, uh, yes. Chainsaw? Question mark? I, I would love to do a video just sort of talking, or even like a stream, just sort of like talking about like, how did GTA characters get away with so much shit and how do the police just not give a shit? Like, more, more than just, oh, we couldn't find you for a set amount of time even though you're wanted by like SWAT teams, eh, don't care. Oh, you went into a pain spray and come out with a completely different vehicle? Oh, that's totally not them. You know, like besides that kind of stuff, where it's just like, how would they not get traced by doing certain things, you know? You know, like some of the heists in GTA 5, and it's like, how the hell do you not get noticed in any way? Now, there's a speedrun strat in this mission, and I'm going to keep calling it fast strats. Uh, am I going to do it? Yeah, sure, why not? It's not restricted by the uh, the rules that I've given, so... Uh, he's got a blade.
The Vice City Police are onto me. Oh no. Oops. Oops. Uh, I'm actually going to go get the second one. Oops. So this obviously introduced, uh, introduces the pen sprays, but I know there is another bribe down here. I'm just going to do that instead. Just to pass the mission a bit quicker. So the casual outfit. Probably one of my like one of my favorite outfits just because like some of the outfits are really sort of well, terrible because <laughs> that kind of like Ken Rosenberg outfit in the beginning and then the overalls and then the golf outfit and and then the two different types of jumpsuits you can get where it's like one's like black and one's purple and it's like what <laughs> but then like the Mr. Vassetti and the uh Casual outfit, probably the better ones. Alright, we got a fast car, let's do this assassination missione. Hopefully, it doesn't despawn the car. For roadkill. Pizza delivery man. Sure. Where is pizza delivery man? Oh, he's right at the end. Get the fuck. Oh, come on. That stupid Glendale. Yeah, piece of crap. Come here. Come here. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, a man is dead! Whatever could I do? There's nothing, there's nothing I could have done to save him at all. Apart from running him. Okay, I kind of run him over. Oops. Eh! Seems like the Colonel has another mission for us. What do you want, Colonel? Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, 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 no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. Oh no, this mission. <laughs> it's not that bad of a mission. Um, might get shot at a bit. This is, I think this might be the first like proper mission where we actually might take damage that isn't just me falling down somewhere or getting hit by a car or something. Although it says, like, if, oh, if you need any, you know, you need anything, just... I think it's here going to be the best place. I'll park it there just to make sure. I'm just going to bring out the trusty sidearm. The rain, she's very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Quiz imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over, you American idiot. They followed you here. Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Lost some health there. Right. Do not want to get back. Do not want to get on the bike. That would be a bad decision. Because if police hit me, that's going to be. Uh... Oh, nice. Nice armor. Look at that. Nice. You American idiots. Don't want to be an American idiot. Oh, look. He just keeps getting cars, doesn't he? I think we can fit one more. Can we? I think we can fit one more mission. And here is... Uh, he could possibly die. Tomas, I appreciate your comment. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Yes. Some firepower at a multi story car park. Let's go pick it up. And. I, just, mm, I hope we don't. I mean, I, I hope I don't take a lot of damage. Because a lot of damage early on is the problem. If I can... Oh, fun. Oh, look who it is. Hog in all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tell me Rossetti. Let's go. Let's go. And specifically this car. Is it, it... Dude, be cool. Oh, it's called the Kruger. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the Ru the Ruger if you buy it. Anyway. If you get it from the ammunition. But yeah. We're, go we're going to show up classy in a convertible. Yeah. It's like convertible... Kind of muscle car? Kind of... I don't know. It's not as cool as arriving in a sports car from the 80s, but you know. Especially a Lamborghini uh, Countach, basically. But it's convertible. Convertible is naturally just cooler. New gun. No more gainful opportunities arise. Mm hmm. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. What balcony? Here come the Cubans. If I go to the edge. Crouch. There we go. Accuracy. Will it now? Oh no. <laughs> They're busting the door. Who, who's they? I'm gonna go down and get the no the machine guns. I 
I think they're stuck behind the car. But... Oh no, get up, get up, get up. Uh, Tommy. <laughs> okay. We got through that bit. My money. My money. Compute. Don't just stand there, you prick. Chase that dickhead down. Grab the bike and chase him down. I mean, you don't really have to grab the bike, but. And the money. Boom! Didn't lose that much health. I was worried that we were going to take a lot more damage than... Um, than we did. Just purely because I wasn't sure if the... If the uh, enemy gang essentially try and shoot you or not. I live! Take head! And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Where's that guy, Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. I think that's going to be the end for that episode there. 7% with Scam Artist now. But thank you for watching episode 3. We didn't die during Guardian Angels or the other one. More Shootout, that's the mission. I know. So thank you guys for watching, and peace out.